Second topic today, another one I didn't prompt you on at all. A uh, couple friends of the show were in a, an argument on the Twitter sphere this week. I don't know if you saw this. Rafael Davis and Stephen Bardo, both gentlemen in the Big Ten media space that I greatly respect, seem to really disagree on who should win Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year this year. This stemmed from a tweet that was just naming players who are locks for the all big 10 defensive team. There were a lot of names thrown around. Uh, and then somehow this got very pointed into a, who's the defensive player of the year. It's Coleman Hawkins or it's ace Baldwin. Now, without going through and reading the tweets directly for what they are, Steven Bardo is adamant that Coleman Hawkins should be the defensive player of the year. And, Rafael Davis is adamant that he should not be because Illinois' defense is horrible and Coleman can't even guard his own position. It doesn't matter that he can guard one through four. He's not good at guarding bigs. That's tough. Rafael argues in favor of Ace Baldwin, who is incredible, very high steals guy. He's been one of the best defenders in the country this year, as has Coleman, in my opinion. So uh, where do you stand on this? Is anybody right versus wrong in this debate between Bardo and Rafael? And uh, Ace Baldwin versus Coleman Hawkins. Do you think this should be a debate that we're having at this point in the season? Um. So, uh, one, this thing is very opinionated as far as kind of what people look for in defense and things like that. Like, you could look at the stats, the steals, and things like that. But for me, I lean to the side of Rafael on this. I just have a hard time taking Coleman as a defensive player of the year when their defense is awful. Um, and he does have, and he has had games where five positions have kind of abused him throughout the season. Um, and when I'm looking at who is the big 10 defensive player of the year, I do like to look at like, what, like, how does, how does that player affect the team's defense? So if Coleman was as good as a defender as he is, I think Illinois would be better defensively than they are. Um, do I think it should be ace Baldwin? I don't know. Like, I don't know if you have on hand, like, who's the best defensive team in the Big Ten. But I don't know. Like, would you want to go to Rutgers? Like, does Cliff deserve the award? Um, is Purdue one of the better big, you know, defensive teams? Like, I, I don't know. I just – I I agree, and I, I see that Coleman Hawkins is a good defender. Like we stated before, he's a good help side defender. His instincts are incredible. I think he's in the right spot always. But I just have a hard time picking a guy who is, one, on a bad defensive team – and two, you know, um, has a hard time guarding his own position one on one. Yeah. So <laughs> I love both these guys. I want to make that known. I, oh, I really, I, do too. I really like Bardo and normally think he's right on the money. And uh, we've had back and forth with Rafael before, but in general, like I, I love him. I love his coverage. I think he does a great job on Big Ten Network. They both do. Uh, Ray Fell is a guy who I think we've had some more human interaction with, just either in person, say what up to him, or uh, we did a Twitter spaces with him and DK at the beginning of last year that was fun. Um, really respect him. I, I get why they're going at it here, and I think both made a lot of fair points. Like I think Coleman Hawkins is the most unique defender in this conference because of how many positions he can guard. I also think Ace Baldwin might be the most impactful individual defender. Like If we're talking one guy – who's going to erase his matchup that night. I think it's ace in this league. I really do. I think like that, that is the hardest thing for opposing point guards to go up against is ace Baldwin. And I think that's harder than like a center going up against whoever the best defensive center is, or a wing going up against the best wing defender. I don't know. Coleman's the most versatile. Ace is the most impactful. I think they're both, both first team, all defenders. Here's what's hilarious to me. Just watching from the outside. We got a conference where we have two top five defenses in the sport this year. Maryland is fifth in the country in defensive efficiency. Rutgers is fourth in the country in defensive efficiency. Michigan State, 16th in the country in defensive efficiency. Purdue, 21st in the country in defensive efficiency. Nebraska, 33rd in the country in defensive efficiency. Wisconsin, 46th in the country in defensive efficiency. You'll notice that I'm halfway through the league right now, and I haven't gotten to either of the two teams that these guys are camping <laughs> for being the best defender in the league. Like there, there are some legitimately great defenses in this league this year. And neither of them are Penn State or Illinois. So if you're making the argument, like, I think it was Rafe who was like, 
you can't argue for Coleman being the best defender in this league with how bad their defense is. Penn State's defense is 40 spots worse than Illinois on, on Ken Palm's defensive rankings. So like neither of those teams are good defensively. They're individual great defenders. And I don't like if I'm rewarding the very best, if I'm hand selecting from whoever the pool of five guys are at the end of the day, it's not either of them. And I don't know who the other others will be. So I'm not even going to give you a name necessarily, but I would assume that cliff is on the top five and cliff is the heart of a Rutgers defense. That is elite. I think uh, we've seen Mawat Mag, how critical he is defensively when he's in the game. I think he would warrant being on that list. I think both of those guys make more sense as the best defender in this conference than either Coleman or Ace. Um, I think Maryland deserves some credit. And I don't know. Jameer Young definitely definitely deserves a shot if we're talking about point guards. Yeah. And and I don't know. I don't know that there is one guy on Maryland that I would single out as like the best defender. I think uh, Jameer Young is a pest. I think Deshaun Harris Smith, as much as we've made fun of him offensively, has done a really, really great job defensively this year. I think Julian Reese is pretty damn good defensively. So like you're not going to say any of those guys individually are the best defender in the league, but they're all more deserving to me than either Coleman or uh, Ace would be. And if we really want to have that conversation, I think there's a better argument that Zach Eadie's the defensive player of the year than there is for Coleman or Ace. Yeah, I agree. Actually. <laughs> like he's he's just a singular force that uh, now teams can hunt it in drop coverage, but like you know every game against Purdue, you're not getting a thing at the rim. They're 21st in the country defense. They're a great defense because of Zach Eadie. It's like the opposite of Coleman. Like, Everyone going against Coleman just kind of goes to the rim. Going yeah, against Illinois yeah. goes to the rim. Um, yeah, it's just different. The, the drop, but like, yeah, Edie is erases everything at the at the hoop. Yeah. So if they go there, a lot of people just choose not to go there because it gets erased. Right. Who would your pick be if you had to pick the name from this list? Who's the defensive player of the year? I think I'd give it to Cliff. That's where I land every time too. I think that's the easiest answer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, would you have both of these guys Would Ace Baldwin and Coleman Hawkins be on your first team, all defense list? Yeah, I think so. You hesitated a little bit. Give me the five. Who's the five on Carter? I was going through, was going through it in my head. Um, because I don't want, like I, if I, if I want to do this, like, truthfully, I think I'd have, like, four bigs and one guard. That's fine. Okay, I think I'd go Cliff, Edie. Cliff, Edie, Coleman. Mm, maybe not four bigs. Uh, Ace Baldwin and Jameer Young. I was going to say, I think Ace and Jameer have to both be there. And that way yeah. you have you have Rutgers representation, you have Purdue representation, you have Maryland representation. Those are the three best defenses in the league. The only uh well actually I, they're not the three best defenses in the league. Michigan State is ranked higher defensively than Purdue is. So you could put somebody from Michigan State in. The problem is I don't know who it would be. I do I tend to agree with you that Tyson is your best perimeter defender, but I don't think Tyson has been one of the top 5 defenders in the league individually. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yeah, it's a tough spot. Um, I like your five, though. I think that's probably the right answer. And, yeah, give it – I mean, Cliff leads the country in block rate. He's on the fourth best defense in the country. We don't really need to overthink that he's not the best defender in this league because Coleman sometimes switches on the point guards and because Ace Baldwin forces steals in a pressure defense that is designed to force steals. Like, yeah, just a little, little much. It's, it's, it's easier than we think. Yeah, okay. 